Hello, I hope you're all well and welcome to another six round pub quiz. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. It's a six round pub quiz, really easy game to play. I'll explain all the rules and the rounds as we go along. I just recommend if you like to keep track of your score, as many people do, uh, get yourself a pen and paper. It'll just make it a lot, lot easier. So we'll begin the quiz by revealing the answer to last week's tiebreaker. The question was, in a game of chess against my daughter, how many moves would it take for there to be a winner? And there was 46, just 46, and I won at last. It's nice to finally win one. So uh, not that I've wound her up too much, just, just a little. And I'm sure she'll get her own back this week. So the tiebreaker definitely made a difference to this week's leaderboard, which we'll look at now. These are all the single players, everybody who finished between 1st and 10th. And there you go, some really, really cracking scores, very, very close at the top. In the first place is Jay with 65, well done Jay, really impressive. Second place with Adam, 64, great quiz and Adam, well done. Third place with Kayla, also with 64, well done to you Kayla, really, really good. Well done to you all, and a big thank you to all the single players who played, liked, shared and commented on the video. So we'll now look at the teams. These are all the teams between 1st and 10th. And there you go. Fantastic score. Very, very close indeed. Well done to you all. In third place with 69 is Emma and John. Well done to you both. In second place is the John Cena Fan Club. Love it. Love that name. Very, very funny. Well done. And great quiz and good score. And first place, Golden Wolf with a brilliant 70. Well done to you and your team. So again, a big thank you to all the teams who played, liked, shared and commented on the video. Uh, now, same as last week, the shout outs will be at the end of the quiz. So let's begin this week's quiz. So there are six rounds. Round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week, the double points round is a movie round. Round four is the connections round. Round five is an odd one out round. And the final round is a general knowledge round. I will give you answers after round two, after round four, and after the final round. As always, I hope you enjoy and good luck. So round one is a picture round. There are 10 pictures, famous people, places, etc. And you have around 14 seconds for each. Number one, can you name this TV or movie star? Number two, who is this from the world of music? Number three, which NFL team has this logo? Number four, who is this a picture of from when they were young? Number five, can you name the game? Number six, who is this in disguise? Number seven, name the historical figure. Number eight, this is the flag for which overseas territory? Number nine, can you figure out the saying or phrase from this image? And the last one, number 10, what is this a close up of?
Round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one. What was the title of the first UK number one by the Spice Girls? Number two, Star Trek The Next Generation first aired in which decade? Number three, well since my baby left me, well I found a new place to dwell. Well it's down at the end of Lonely Street and the opening lyrics to which song? And number four, can you name these Disney villains? Half a point for each. Number five, which actress provides the voice of Meg in the TV show Family Guy? And number six, Say La Vie was a 1998 hit song for which Irish band? Number seven, complete the title of this 2023 film starring Kenneth Branagh, A Haunting in Blank. Fill in the blank. Number eight, who narrated the 2005 film documentary, March of the Penguins? And number nine, performed in the film by Matt Damon, Scotty Doesn't Know is a song in which 2004 comedy film And the last one, number 10. Who is the only singer to perform the theme song to three James Bond films? Is it Tina Turner or Shirley Bassey? So that's the end of the first two rounds. We will go through the answers and round three and four will start immediately after. So the answers to round one, number one, this TV or movie star is Conan O'Brien. Number two from the world of music, Neil Diamond. Number three, it's the uh, logo of the NFL team, the Miami Dolphins. Number four, this is a picture from when they were young of John Cena. John with a J, I learned my lesson. Uh, number five, did you manage to name the game? The game is Angry Birds. Number six, did you figure out who's in disguise? Jennifer Aniston. And number seven, the captain of the Titanic, Edward Smith. Number eight, did you, did you figure out this saying or phrase? Beat around the bush. And number nine is the flag for Bermuda. And the last one, number 10, is a close up of an eye. The answers for round two, number one. What was the title of the first UK number one by the Spice Girls? Wannabe. 
number two, Star Trek The Next Generation first aired in the 1980s. Number three, well since my baby left me, well I found a new place to dwell. Well it's down at the end of Lonely Street, the opening lyrics to Heartbreak Hotel. And number four, did you get the Disney villains? Half a point for each, on the left is Gaston and on the right is Ursula. Number five, which act actress provides the voice of Meg in the TV show Family Guy? Mila Kunis. Number six, Say La Vie, sorry, with a 1998 hit song for Bewitched. And number nine, complete the title of this film starring Kenneth Branagh, A Haunting in Venice. Watched it recently, very good. Number eight, who narrated the 2005 film March of the Penguins? Narrated by Morgan Freeman. And number nine, performed in a film by Matt Damon. Scotty Doesn't Know is a, is a song from the film Euro Trip. And if you are playing with younger players, uh, don't look it up. <laughs> really not appropriate. Anyway, number ten, who is the only singer to perform the theme song to three James Bond films? That is Shirley Bassey. Round three is a movie round. Now this is a round where there are two points available per question, so 20 points up for grabs, the way it's going to work. You will see a still taken from a movie, you'll get one point if you can name that film, and then there is a question about the film, uh, which will be at the bottom of the screen. If you manage to answer that question, you will get an additional point. Now if the question is geared up to who is his character, who is the actor, and there's more than one, there'll be a red arrow pointing at the individual that the question is about. So I've given you 20 seconds for each one, I believe that's enough time. I hope you enjoy and good luck.
Round four is the connections round. For those of you who haven't played before, the way this round works, there are four questions. You'll get one point for every correct answer that you give, and then something links the answers to those four questions. If you can find that link connection, you'll get another point. So five points available in total in this round. Now, after the fourth question, all four questions will come up on your screen at the same time, and you have around 25 seconds to try and figure out that connection. If you need longer, pause the video, give yourself a minute or two, and if you can't solve it after them, then move on. Then move on, sorry. Anyway, so best of luck finding that connection. So the answers for round three, number one, the film is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and the character highlighted is Augustus Gloop. Number two, the film is The Great Escape, and the decade it was released is the 1960s. Number three, the film is Team America World Police, and the two people who provide the most voices in the film are Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Number four. Love this film. Uh, the film is Castaway, and the name of the volleyball is Wilson. Number five. The film is Monsters, Inc. And the character is James P. Sullivan or Sully. Number six, the film is The Godfather, and the director is Francis Ford Coppola. Number seven, number seven, the film is Bean or The Bean Movie, Eva's fine, and the famous painting, before he got to face, is Whistler's Mother. I quite like that version. Number eight, the film is Planet of the Apes. And the landmark at the end of the film is the Statue of Liberty. Number nine. The film is Meet Joe Black. And the actor is Anthony Hopkins. And number ten, the last one. The film is Avengers Endgame. And the character who clicked their fingers at the end was Iron Man. So the answers for the connections round number one, including cameo appearances, who has appeared in the most Marvel movies? That is Stan Lee. Number two, which football player famously banned for nine months after launching a flying kick at a fan in 1995? Eric Cantona. Number three, Danger Zone and Footloose were hit songs in the 80s for Kenny Loggins. And number four, making international headlines, which 17-year-old American faces shot two men and wounded another and was acquitted after testifying that he had acted in self-defence. That is Kyle Rittenhouse. 
So what connects Stan Lee, Eric Cantona, Kenny Loggins and Kyle Rittenhouse? They are the first names of the four main characters in the TV show South Park. Well done if you got that connection. That's the end of round four. I hope you're enjoying it so far and you managed to find that connection. I know it could have been a tricky one for some this week. And anyway, we'll now go into rounds five and six. The answers will follow immediately after and there will be a tiebreaker at the end. So watch out for that. So round five is the odd one out rounds. In this round, you will see five things on your screen, uh, words of things, and you just have to figure out which one is the odd one out. It could literally be anything. But I'll give you an example. Say you, you were to see uh, The Simpsons, Minion, a Banana and The Sun as four of them, and the other one was a strawberry. The odd one out would be the strawberry. The other four are yellow, the strawberry is not. So I do hope that makes sense. I've given you 15 seconds for each one. If you need a little bit longer, feel free to pause it, take your time. No rush, whatever you need. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and good luck. Round six is the general knowledge round. There are 10 questions and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, what type of animal is a Flemish giant? Number two, what famous US rock festival hosted over 350,000 fans in 1969? 
Number three, the name of which reality TV show is inspired by a mysterious character in George Orwell's novel 1984. Number four, the Triple Crown of Motorsport is an unofficial motorsport achievement. The Indianapolis 500 and the 24 Hours of Le Mans are two of the races. What is the third? And number five, in which year did Concord take its last flight? And you can be one year above or below with your guess. Number six, Bombay is a former name of which Indian city? Number seven, what is a scientific name for the windpipe? Number eight, the SAS is a special forces unit of the British Army. What does it stand for? And number nine, the Malonglo River flows through which capital city, Canberra or Wellington? And the last one, number 10. The aardvark is native to which continent? So the answers round five, the odd one out rounds. Number one, the odd one out is a penguin. The other four are from, from the Arctic and the penguin from the Antarctic. Number two, the odd one out is the Cutty Sark. The other, uh, other four sunk, the Cutty Sark didn't. <laughs> Number three, the odd one out is Newcastle United. The other four have won the Premier League. Newcastle haven't, not yet anyway. Number four, the odd one out is Herbert Hoover. He is the only one who wasn't assassinated. Number five, these five Pokemon. Charizard is your one out. He is a fire Pokemon. The other four are electric. Number six, the other one out is Cocovan. Uh, that is uh, with chicken. The other four are with fish. Number seven, well done if you got this one. The odd one out is Cloverfield. The other four programs or films have dragons in. Number eight, is GameCube. Uh, GameCube is by Nintendo, the other ones are by Sega. And number nine, the years, the odd one out is 1966. Uh, it is not an Olympic year, and the others were. Which leaves number 10, the last one, the odd one out is Tunis. Uh, that is a capital city in Africa, the, other are, the others were from Asia. So the answers are round six. Number one, what type of animal is a Flemish giant? It is a rabbit. Number two, what famous US rock festival hosted over 350,000 fans in 1969? It is Woodstock. Number three, which reality TV show is inspired by a character in George Orwell's 1984 is Big Brother. Number four, the triple count of motorsport is the Indianapolis 500, the 24 Hours of Le Mans and the Monaco Grand Prix. Well done if you got that one. Number five, in which year did Concord take its last flight? It was in 2003. So if you said 2002, 2003 or 2004, you have the point. And well done. Number six, Bombay is a former name of which Indian city? It's a former name of Mumbai. 
Number seven, what is a scientific name for the windpipe? The answer is trachea. Number eight, the SAS is a special forces unit of the British Army. What does it stand for? It stands for Special Air Service. Number nine, the Malonglo River flows through which capital city? It flows through Canberra. Which leaves number 10, the last one. The aardvark is native to which continent? It's native to Africa. So now for this week's tiebreaker. Remember, when you post your score, please add your tiebreaker guess. It very often makes a difference. So the question this week, I think my daughter wants to get her own back. In 20 games of Fortnite 1v1 against my daughter, how many games will I win? So if you don't know the game, all that is, it's just, it's a video game, like a shooty game thing. And it's just uh, Bella versus me. How many games will I win out of 20? And just for a heads up, she is better than me at the game. Um, not by miles. I, I'm going to win a few. But um, yeah, I'd expect her to win more. So the question is, in 20 games of Fortnite 1v1 against my daughter, how many games will I win? Good luck with your guess. So that's the end of the quiz. Thank you for taking the time to play. I do hope you had fun. So this week was much easier for me than last week. Uh, last week, I'm pretty sure I had COVID. Uh, I was looking after the kids on my own as well. Bella was ill. Uh, Charlie was missing his mum. It was just one of those nightmare weeks. But I still should have realised that John Cena does not begin with a D, an E or an F. So uh, yeah, that'll take me a while to live that one down. But uh, at least it proves that maybe I'm a, I'm a real person, not an AI bot, which uh, I have a feeling these quizzes and stuff on YouTube will probably start to go that way a little bit, which I don't really like. I, I like the human aspect of it. Anyway, so thank you again for playing. Just before I finish up the quiz, I'm just going to finish with some shout outs. So the first one, I'd like to wish Bob a very happy 52nd birthday. Uh, happy birthday to you, Bob. Uh, thank you for all the times you play the quiz. You play so many and leave lovely comments. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Maybe a spot of fishing, I can see from your photo. A happy birthday. Now, I've been asked to say the gem of the walrus I'm sure that it's just some sort of in-joke. If it's not Gemma, give your partner a big whack. But happy birthday to you, Gemma. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Happy uh, 45th birthday to Stephen, who is the MVP of his quiz team. So happy birthday, Stephen. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Happy birthday to Ray from Team 6A. Happy birthday to you, Ray. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. Uh, happy 20th birthday to Katie May. Happy birthday, Katie. 20 years old. Lots of fun to be had. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you're having it. Have a great, great birthday. And another 20th birthday happy 20th to Faye again to you Faye I hope you have a wonderful time lots of fun lots of celebrating I'm sure you are a happy 24th birthday to Gustav from Sweden happy birthday Gustav I hope you have a lovely lovely time and the last one a happy 42nd birthday to Ross from team the Master Chief so happy birthday to you, to you Ross have a lovely lovely weekend so that is all of the shout outs uh, one more time thank you to everybody who took the time to play I hope you have a lovely lovely weekend and week and see you next Saturday.